Hey craft buddy. As you can see, I just got back from the store and I found so many awesome things from not only Dollar Tree, but a ton of other stores for spring and Easter decor and DIYs. So come along with me. I'm gonna show you what's out there, what I decided to bring home and what you should keep an eye out for when you go out shopping. This is Whiskey and Wet. My name is Whitney and a huge welcome to my Whiskey Craft Buddies. If you're not already a craft buddy, no worries. Just go ahead and hit subscribe down below so you don't miss any future DIY or budget home decor content. All right, so let's get right into it. We're gonna start with the Dollar Tree Easter section. I have went through and pre-sorted everything so I can kind of tell you by section. And then I will do the other stores towards the end because I did buy the most at Dollar Tree. Up first are these decorative eggs that I really liked. They come in two different colorways. I went with the purple kind of whitish yellow and green. I got a few packs of these because I think they will be really fun to put in a vase. In that same vein, they had some of these awesome larger eggs that were wrapped in different colors. So I got two pink, two blue, two green, and two purple. So these are super cute. They're like Easter tree ornaments. Snip this back part and then you've got these to put in a dough bowl or just to do a little vignette. You can even put this next to your little bunny figurine. If you have watched one of my hauls before, you know that I am not a fan of Dollar Tree glittery items. So when I see signs that don't have glitter on them, I know I have to grab them. This is line art. This is right up my alley. There is no glitter. And if you like glitter, no worries, but I'm just not a fan of the glitter. Also with signs, I grabbed one of these bunny cutouts. One side has these 3D raised pieces. The other side is flat. I used this in a variety of projects last year. So I wanted to pick up another one. I also grabbed the carrot. So same thing, I've got 3D on the front, but then also plain on the back. I did a really fun project with this last year with a Cricut decal and said, welcome to our carrot patch. So if you're interested in making that, I will link it right up above here so you can grab it and and get that free cut file and make it yourself. I'm always on the lookout for fun watercolor pieces at Dollar Tree because that is really my style that I like. So these window clings were also right up my alley. They are really pretty watercolor. I love this bunny in the center with the flower crown. And you don't have to just use these as window clings. There are a ton of different ways you can use them. One of the easiest being just stick them on something and seal it with Mod Podge. I also grabbed these from the craft aisle and I plan to use them for spring as well. They're these really pretty like watercolor hand drawn large stickers. So I either am going to use these for a spring DIY or I'm going to find a way to integrate them here into my new craft room as you can see around me. I recently did a tour of this space showing you kind of what is behind me as well as on the other side of the camera kind of where you're looking at me now. So if you're interested in checking that out I will link that video as well. You can kind of see what goes on in this room. I grabbed two different sizes of these craft eggs. So these larger ones come six to a pack for $1.25. I got two packs of those for a dozen and then I also grabbed an eight piece which are smaller. These kind of have little divots in them, but I have a project. Hopefully these will be coming in my Kirkland's dupe video. Yes, that will be coming back again this year. It is one of your guys' favorites, so don't worry, it will be coming. A couple fabric things I grabbed for Easter were these felt packs. There is some green and orange in here, and there's also dots on one of the two sets, so I thought these would make really cute carrots. And then I also grabbed some of these bunny fabric gift bags. They are super cute. Trim and embellishments have come a long way at Dollar Tree. They started releasing them, I want to say like spring, summer last year, and they had some really cute ones for Christmas, and these Easter ones are really cute. So I ended up grabbing some bright pink pom-pom trim. I also went with this yellow trim, and then I also grabbed these trim packs, which are pink themed and the little middle ones are bunnies and then this one cute little carrots. They also had two more kinds as well in the store so I grabbed footage of that but those were the two that I decided to pick up and bring home to my craft room. They also had three different colors of this cute little rickrack ribbon which I love. They had pink, purple, and then they also had a blue so I decided to go with the pink and the purple just because that matches my overall decor. You get three yards for $1.25 and that's about what I need. I don't need to be having rickrack to store for the next year so that'll be nice to add trim to something really affordably. Hands down, some of my favorite items to grab, especially seasonally at Dollar Tree, are their wood pieces. So these little kind of ornament embellishment things they had last year, but I ended up grabbing some carrots, some eggs, as well as some bunnies. I did a lot of projects with these last year, and so I wanted to have them on hand for this year because I used them up last year. These are really cute and they come 14 pieces to a pack. So they're nice and they're cut really kind of cleanly. They're not a lot of jagged edges, which is nice. Now these are new, at least to me, I didn't see them last year. And they're these cute little wood bunnies with tails. These are super cute on their own. They are 
essentially finished now, but you could paint them. You could just pop off the little tail and do it, paint them. And then I also grabbed some of these carrots. I want to make some more Easter tags like I did last year. I made one with Finn's name on it using that same carrot kind of bubbly whimsy painting technique. So these are really cute to pick up. Another thing that I was so excited to see in Dollar Tree was their updated blank section. So Crafter Square has come out with a lot more blanks. I think they have started to see a lot of us YouTubers have done Cricut blanks with Dollar Tree items. I've got a full playlist for any season or occasion you could probably think of. So I will link those for you, but I grabbed a lot of these things because I think they will be fun to just have in my stash and use throughout the year. First being these little circles. I'm hoping I can find a way to use these. I also grabbed a bunch of packs of these chalkboard tags. I'm gonna use them on these bins behind me just so I can clip them on and know kind of what is in each bin. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of vinyl and apply it on those. I also really loved these kind of shiplappy signs that they had. I made one already and you can see it behind me over in this corner. It is my handmade all day. I have a bunch of craft tools on it. So if you're interested in that, that's a free SVG I will link for you. But these are just awesome to have to put vinyl on. I used Oracle 651 vinyl that I get from Expressions Vinyl and I also use my paper transfer tape so that helped not rip it up. Also from that section, they have these really cute signs with the little back, uh, easel I guess so you can either lean something across this ledge or I added a clip in a recent video and made a cute little photo frame they also have these blocks that'll sit on their own this would be a great photo frame this would also be just a fun thing to put a saying on and then they also have a smaller version of that shiplap sign but with beads for it to hang when I see these burlap bags I always grab them because what I like to do is cut the handles off and stuff them glue the top and then use the back as essentially a a blank canvas for a pillow so I wanted to add these back to my stash because I used my last one. I've heard from so many of you that you guys are having a hard time finding t-shirts at your store which is such a bummer because I love buying these. Now I don't find them every time so you guys just happen to see when I find one that I can use. I really like these because they are great especially if you're just learning how to do just heat transfer vinyl or even screen printing. A $1.25 shirt is awesome to test on. If for some reason you screw up no worries you can grab a couple test on it same with the signs and they make it really cost effective to learn different techniques with your Cricut machine and not have to worry about spending 10, 15, 20 dollars on a blank for something you know to just learn on. So I'm a big proponent of grabbing supplies from the Dollar Tree and learning as cheaply as you can and then you can graduate up to those more expensive things. When these first came out before I saw them at my store I got so many of you sending me pictures on here and on Instagram and telling me like did you see these? So one being these really pretty tags. These are an awesome Cricut blank but then also these little beaded pieces. They've got the buffalo check beads in here. I bought some of these from Amazon a couple years ago for Christmas time and I really love them so I like that Dollar Tree is kind of hopping on the way but I do have an idea for Easter so I'm hoping to get that in a video shortly and then also if you're interested Easter DIYs are going to start next week on my channel. I'm so excited. We're kicking off spring and Easter. It's snowing outside but we are hoping for warmer weather. For the last two years I have brought you guys along as I have DIY'd for Finn's birthday parties. Back in 2021 for his first birthday I did a bluey themed party. Then last year 2022 was the cars themed party. I did a huge Mack truck. It was super fun. This year doing dinosaurs and slash incorporating some Dino Ranch which is a Disney Junior cartoon that Finn really loves right now. We are big in the dinosaur phase. So that video will be coming up with a ton of DIYs but here are a lot of the items that I picked up at Dollar Tree. They've got a variety of really cute party decor including these large dinosaurs that I'm going to put on the wall for a photo backdrop. I grabbed things like balloons and different signage and I also made sure to grab these really cute little wood dinosaurs. I feel like Dollar Tree used to have a lot more of these and of course the year I need wood unfinished dinosaurs. They don't have very many but I'm going to keep looking and fingers crossed I can find them soon. So I live right outside of Chicago and so we do celebrate St. Patrick's Day here. I didn't really decorate a lot for before but I did a video last year and I really loved how everything looked and Finn's birthday is in March so it's nice to have some of the rainbow colors and things throughout our house. So I grabbed a couple St. Patrick's Day items that I wanted to share because I really do think Dollar Tree upped their game this year. 
first being these shamrocks. So typically I see things like this at Hobby Lobby and they're like $3.99 a piece. These only $1.25. So we've got the light green as well as the dark green and I grabbed a couple of these. I thought these were beautiful for $1.25. Like the beads are painted really nicely. This tassel is a little, a little rough with like everything being the same length, but you could easily just trim it. And then it has this really cute little lucky piece on the end. I picked up two of those for tiered tray displays. I grabbed myself a headband for when I do the video. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, to get a St. Patrick's Day video up again this year for you guys. So I wanted to have a fun headband to wear. It's nice. It's like a silky material and it seemed like it stretched a decent amount for my large head. For decor purposes, I grabbed a little towel. These are not the most absorbent if you want to actually use it. It is nice hung over a little tea towel ladder or you could also hang it over the little ball are on your dishwasher or your stove just for a little extra color. This was another one I had to pick up because it did not have the glitter on it. I love the truck. I love the green plaid, little rainbow in the back, the good luck. I think this will look really cute over a wreath. I also grabbed one of these wood cutouts because like I said, I love to have these. They're great shapes and also too, they're great stencils. So if you want to cut out something, I made different things last year with cardboard and I used Dollar Tree shapes just to get the shamrock look. I didn't have to print anything out. I could just easily trace it. And the back is the plain compared to the 3D. So if you don't like that, you can always use the back and flip it over, especially because there's no sticker on the back. I usually just do Dollar Tree hauls, but then I get a lot of questions from you guys about where different things are, especially for staging items and things you see in the background when I'm showing you my house decorated. So I thought it'd be fun to include it at the end so that you could kind of see what I'm thinking and what I'm picking up as we go. So if you like this portion, let me know. I can either do more general hauls here or I can share them over on Instagram or I can even do some shorts for you guys here on YouTube. So just let me know what you think. So first up, Hobby Lobby, I was looking for a container to go above my kitchen cabinets and I found this one. I love the wood plus the white enamel, but it also has this really pretty chalkboard piece on the front. This would take vinyl really well. And so I think I'm going to share how I transform this in an upcoming Cricut video. I haven't done a just easy Cricut projects video that's not Dollar Tree since last summer. And so I have one in the works right now. And I think this project will be in there. This ended up being, it was $40, but it was half off. So it ended up being 20 bucks. So like $19.99. And I really like it. It matches the style of my new kitchen. In my craft room tour, I got a lot of questions about the sign that I have up on the wall that says, you are amazing, remember that. It's like a little kind of shelf sitter sign. I actually got that as a gift from the organizers of the Cricut Craft Fest for being a speaker, which was so nice of them to send. But I did find a similar one at Hobby Lobby. It's a little bit smaller than mine, but I got it on sale for $2.50 because it was half off for table decor. I also grabbed a couple St. Patrick's Day things at Hobby Lobby. I got this cute little door and none of these are on sale yet, unfortunately. So that's why I only grabbed a couple small things. I will go back and get a couple more once it drops to 40%. I try not to buy things full price if I can help it. But some of these cute things, if it's like under $10 and I think it might not be there, it's worth it for me to grab it. So I got this cute little, it looks like a leprechaun door, it just sits up. I got this cute little gumball machine. This was $3.99 regular price, but I love the little shamrocks in there. They're calling it a mini bamboo cutting board, but it's a little shamrock. I liked the unfinished bamboo. You could add something with a decal, or I think I'm gonna use this little hanger to hang it from my little tea towel ladder in my kitchen. And then also in their spring shop, I grabbed this really pretty runner. I liked the kind of bluish gray with a hint of purple in there. Their spring shop's 40% off, and this was $32.99 regular price, but I like the fringe. And I bought this because I, this spring, want to build a new dining room table for our dining room so that we can fit a ton of people and host dinners like family is a huge deal to us so I want to be able to have family over do that whole thing so this is going to be on that table so fingers crossed that I can get that cranked out in the spring but of course I'll be bringing you along I'll be doing the video and then I will also be showing how I made over some chairs that I got at a garage sale to complete the look so once the snow gets off the ground and it's not freezing outside we will do that and you will come along 
when I went to Walmart, I was really pleasantly surprised with how many awesome blanks that they had. Now this particular store just recently redid their craft section and it is a bigger one. So I will preface with that, but I will link these down below in case you're interested and can't find them at your store. The first thing I grabbed was this like around $10 unfinished wood like trunk. It's called a keepsake box, but I thought this would be awesome to stain or add any vinyl to it. It's got these pretty latches in the front with a handle. And so I'm really excited to make that over. I'm hoping that can come in that Cricut project video that I mentioned earlier. In that same vein, I grabbed one of these wooden recipe boxes. I think this was like eight bucks. It was definitely under 10, but it is so cute. This would be a great gift for a bridal shower and have everybody that's coming to the shower put the recipes in there. My family did that for me and I cherish that so much. And then I also grabbed one of these cutting boards because Courtney over Creative on the Cheap has been talking about this product called Torch Paste so much. She definitely influenced me. I have it ordered, it's on its way here, but I wanna try it. It is a heat gun based paste that you can use like a stencil and then heat it up and it's like wood burnt into there. I will link a video down below of when Courtney did it so you can see because she is the master of it, but I'm hoping to try it and that's why I bought this cutting board for that reason. And then my final stop was Home Goods, which is all these goodies you see in front of me. So first up, I got this garland. I thought this was so pretty. I really needed one for styling Easter projects and I think I might also hang it up here where this other one is. So the folk garlands are not like the cheapest thing. This was $17, but I like the thickness of them and you could probably find something similar on Amazon. If I can find something, I will link it. Also for Easter, I grabbed these fun little canisters. This is double-sided. This is the smaller of the two and this one was $7.99 but it has a cute little bunny on it. It's got like a bamboo top. And I'm gonna use this on my coffee bar to put my little Splenda packets in. And then this one I'll probably use for tea bags next to it. This one was 10, but look at that cute little bunny. I love how understated it is. It doesn't scream Easter, so it can also be left out for spring because there aren't any like Easter eggs with it. Also in the ceramics, I grabbed myself a little Lucky mug. I just find in the morning, like especially when it's like blah outside, that it is helpful to have a fun coffee mug. So I like to have one for each season and I don't have one for St. Patrick's Day. So I decided to grab this to actually use, but the inside is so cute. It's got little um, shamrocks inside and it says lucky on either side. So it's like a camp fire mug or camp mug, whatever they call them. I also grabbed some new dish towels because with the move, like we had a lot of them like just be old and we needed to pitch them. So I grabbed this pack of four dish cloths. They're really cute, different um, prints for St. Patrick's Day. There's like a green stripe. There's some shamrocks. There's one that says lucky on it. These are cute. It was a pack of six dish cloths for 10 bucks. And then I also grabbed some like bigger kitchen towels for St. Patrick's Day. I grabbed these cute little bunnies. This is a set of two for Easter, obviously. And then I grabbed some just more regular, like thicker, like these are gonna absorb like when I actually need to dry stuff. All right, friends, so that is all my stuff that I recently picked up. I usually do a big trip like this to start off the season, and then I just grab small onesies, twosies as I go, just because, again, I don't want to have a lot of stuff, but I also like to give you guys a heads up as we head into the season, because a lot of times by the time I show you things, especially like these stager items, I mean, they may not be available anymore. So I want to make sure that if you like some stuff that I am sharing, that you have a heads up and you can see it. Now, if you like more of these sit down and chat videos with me, let me know because I would love to do more of them. I want to do more variety of content here in 2023. So you got to let me know what do you want to see and I will bring more of that to you in 2023. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this and you haven't already, be sure to hit subscribe down below so you can be a whiskey craft buddy and you won't miss any future DIY or budget home decor content. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye.